Section 6. Furthermore, Mahamati, there are seven kinds of higher truths, those regarding the realm of mind, the realm of wisdom, the realm of knowledge, the realm of views, the realm beyond dualistic views, the realm beyond bodhisattva stages, and the realm of a Tathagata's personal attainment, which, Mahamate, is the mind of the self-existent higher truth of all Tathagatas, Arhats, and fully enlightened ones of the past, the present, and the future. It is by means of this mind of the self-existent, higher truth, that the mundane, metaphysical, and transcendent teachings of Tathagatas are formed. While it is by means of their wisdom I that their individual and shared characteristics are established. However, what are thereby established are not the same as the doctrines and erroneous views of other schools. And what are the same, Mahamate, as the doctrines and erroneous views of other schools? These refer to projections and views of one's own realm without realizing they are perceptions of one's own mind. Due to their obliviousness, Mahamati, such foolish people maintain dualistic views and doctrines of existence and non-existence as their self-existent higher truth. Moreover, Mahamati, the cessation of the suffering that comes from giving rise to projections of the three realms and the cessation of ignorance, desire, and karma that result from seeing the perception of one's own mind are realms of illusion. This is what I will now teach. Section 7. Mahamate, to account for how something that doesn't exist comes to exist due to the presence of causation, and how it persists in time in connection with the skandhas, the datus, and the ayatanas, some monks and priests say once it arises, it ceases. Mahamate, whether it is in regard to a continuity, a function, a birth, an existence, nirvana, a path, karma, attainment, or truth, they argue that it is destroyed and ceases to exist. And why is this so? Because it cannot be found in the present, nor can its beginning be discerned. Mahamate, just as a shattered jug no longer functions as a jug, or a burnt seed no longer functions as a seed, Likewise, Mahamate, if the skandhas, datus, and ayatanas exist, then cease to exist in the present or in the future, this is due to the projection or view of one's own mind, not to a cause. This is why they don't continue to arise. Mahamate, if someone says the existence of consciousness from its non-existence is due to the threefold conjunction of conditions, then hair could grow on a tortoise, or cooking oil could be produced, from sand. Such a thesis falls apart because it is contrary to established truth. And statements about the existence, the non-existence of something, contain this defect. They render whatever we might do as empty and meaningless. Mahamate, when followers of other paths claim something arises because of the threefold conjunction of conditions, they are referring to the operation of cause and effect and to whether their individual characteristics exist then do not exist in the past, the present, or the future. But such claims are essentially the result of logic or speculation or views based on one's habit energy from the past. Thus, Mahamate, despite being infected by mistaken conceptions and misled by distorted beliefs, and despite their lack of knowledge, fools claim to be wise. But there are other monks and priests, Mahamate, who see things as devoid of self-existence, as clouds in the sky, or wheels of fire, or cities of Gandharva, and as not arising, as illusions, or mirages, or dreams, or moonlight on the water, and, regardless of whether they appear to be inside or outside the mind, as projections from the beginningless past, and as not existing apart from one's own mind. And, when the causes of such projections cease, and the repository consciousness becomes free of projections of a body, its possessions, and the world around it, and from what speaks and what is spoken, and from what sees and what is seen, they accordingly see what grasps and what is grasped as no longer interacting in the realm of consciousness, and whatever the mind gives rise to as existing 
in a projection-free realm devoid of origination, duration, and cessation. Mahamate, such bodhisattvas soon realize the identity of samsara and nirvana. With effortless compassion and skillful means, Mahamate, they view the realms of all beings as illusions and not subject to causation. Transcending internal and external realms and seeing nothing outside the mind, they accordingly proceed from one stage to the next in samadhis that are free from appearances. And upon examining the three realms and finding them illusory, they attain the samadhi of the illusory. And once the perceptions of their own minds are free of projections, they are able to dwell in the perfection of wisdom and to let go of their life and their practice and to enter the diamond samadhi that accompanies the Tathagata's body and that accompanies the transformation of suchness. Thus endowed with higher powers and masteries, as well as compassion and skillful means, they enter the sanctuaries of other paths in every Buddha land. And transcending the mind, the will, and conceptual consciousness, these bodhisattvas gradually transform their body into the body of a Tathagata. Therefore, Mahamate, those who seek the body that accompanies a Tathagata should avoid the fabricated projections of origination, duration, or cessation regarding the skandhas, dhatus, ayatanas, consciousness, causation, or forms of practice. Section 8. Who sees that the habit energy of projections of the beginningless past is the cause of the three realms, and who understands that the Tathagata stage is free from projections or anything that arises, attains the personal realization of Buddha knowledge and effortless mastery over their own minds. And, like gems capable of reflecting every color, they enter the subtlest thoughts of other beings, and in their apparition bodies teach them nothing but mind, while establishing them in the sequence of stages. Therefore, Mahamati, you should devote yourself to the cultivation of personal attainment. <laughs>